Hello, good morning guys. So this is Anna Nadobas again. So this is our third video for Photoshop or episode 3. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a layer composition or a layered comps. Stands for layer composition. When we say layered composition, of course it is composed of layers. So, so as you can see on this layers panel so this is our guide and to make you do it on step by step basis so I will open it as a guide so this is what we're going to do so by the way I'm zooming it on a full screen so I'm, I just press F to make it on a full screen so you can see that this is our final product so it may, it may it may not be the best you can see but you will learn from it promise and you will gain more understanding about layers panel and how to use it so please stay tuned and finish this video so if you want to go back to your original state of your photoshop just press f again so it will go back to it's where you can see all all the panels and tools so first step one so we're going to get the the wood the wood background so we're going to put it inside photoshop so this is it. So as you can see from the example, it's a bit kind of blue. So to make it blue, all we need to do is go to the color or solid color fill. So another adjustment layer here. So we're going to put an adjustment layer. So then click on solid color. And then it's a bit of teal, teal blue, I guess. Oh, I just cancelled it. So let's get the color to make it more specific. So I will copy the hexa color combination. So this thing, the hashtag 006666. So I'll just copy it. Or you can put it manually in here. So zero zero six 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 six, and then hit OK. And then, so it is in overlay mode or the blending mode. So this thing with the normal is called the blending mode for layers. So when you click it, it will give you a lots of choices. So for our tutorial we will use the overlay so overlay try to mix and match with your background so that's it and next is we're going to put it in adjustment levels or levels to make it more dark tone so levels will give you dark or some kind of a highlight tone to your it can make your image wash out or dark so and this slider is a bit confusing because when you turn it to the black side or the dark side it will wash out and when you reverse it it will go to the dark mode so please take note of that and I will teach you levels in the next video, just the level, so you will get understanding. Oh. So we put another adjustment layer. So adjustment layer is here. Some kind of a half moon with the black and white. So our per next is Oh it's the base. So we're going to put the base. So the base is in PNG mode. So when we Put it in PNG mode, so 
Yeah, there's no... There's no background, then we can just put it. So when you drag an image over to the other tab or to the other image, it will automatically it will automatically drop it. No smart objects that the difference because it's inside of Photoshop. So next is we're going to put the table so, so we need the table so we're gonna drag it from Photoshop to so okay so if you have uh, it's JPEG that's why it has white background so it it can be easily fixed so all you need to do is press the letter E the eraser tool then look for the magic eraser tool so magic eraser tool will clear out all the whites or just like that and some some will remain because it is not totally white so all you need to do is click it and then it will remove so as you can see here there are small gaps of white so all you need to do is zoom your image so to zoom your image all you need to do is control minus or control plus to zoom in or zoom out so that's the magic eraser and then we go into the move tool again so to select the image so we're gonna put it here like that so as you can see the on the layer the table is on top of the base so that's why he wins so he wins over the top of the base so I'm gonna put it like this and I will resize the and I will resize the base so to make it more more fit so all you want to do to resize an image is go on to image oh, I'm sorry go on to edit and then free transformer do the shortcut so I so control T and then you can see you can zoom or resize your image but in order for you to resize without damaging its proportion all you need to do is control T and hold hold shift and out so the proportion is still remains while you are trying to decrease the size And then put it here then to make your changes so let's go back to our example as you can see the the table is a bit darker so all we need to do is put another levels adjustment so go to your adjustment layer again then click on levels but this time we need to clip it to the table so because if we didn't clip it it will target all the images on the bottom so it will affect all the images but if we click on clip to this layer we can target the table alone alright and then we need to put color balance to the to the base so to make it more 
So, click on adjustment layer again then. Color balance. So, it's up to you. So, you can uh, do the clip again. So, that the base will be targeted alone. So, you want to put it more red. So, it's up to you. It's on your own taste, in, taste of adjustment. So, there's no right or wrong when doing an adjustment. It's up to you. So, what I'm trying to make it more of a blue. To make it more fit to the background. So, it's up to you guys. There's no right or wrong doing an adjustment. The next... We're going to put the image, uh, the wood frame, the wood frame. So I'll do it then. So uh, I'll do it in the drag and drop method. So it will become a smart object. And then I will put it. I will reposition it on top so you can do it by drag and drop as you can see the there is a white line so if you want to put it to the top all you need to do is put it here then wait for the white line indicator and then it will go on top of all the layers and then kindly look at this auto select when you click auto select you can reposition the image without clicking on the layers but if it's not check you need to select it from this from the layers panel before you can move or resize on layers so but it's up to you you can use to choose to auto select Okay, and then, so it is a smart object, the wood. And then we need to, so as you can see on our example, it's a bit kind of wood, wood texture. Ah, a stone texture on the wood. So, we can do that by dragging drop again so on the top of the layer so all you need to do is control T again free transform then resize then ship out while holding it then reposition it then enter oh my goodness the wood is gone so all you need to do is click on the layers of the stone uh, you can rename your layers to make it easy for you. So renaming can help you a lot if you have a lots of layers. So all you need to do to rename is double click on the the text, double click on that, and then type oh, stone, stone, stone. Then this one is the wood or the frame. So double click, then enter. So, on the stone, click on stone, select it, then press out, then it will change your cursor to like this. It means it will create a clipping mass. Then, boom. It is on the frame. So, that's why you produce a... stone texture on your frame and then we need to put a blending option so let's do a drop ah oh, sorry sorry let's do it on the frame yeah, sorry, sorry. Select when you're going to apply the drop shadow or the effects, you need to select the frame because the frame is what we need to target. I'm sorry for that. 
So, Drop Shadow is kind of a bit of 3D effect. So, it will make your frame pop out. So, you want to choose the angle. So, I'm using 90 degree to make it straight. So, you can tweak it with the way you want it. There's no right or wrong. It's up to you. It's up to your judgment. So, that is drop shadow. So, so let's do it again. So, frame. Select the frame. Then, add the layer style. So, layer style is the effects. Then, click on drop shadow. And then, choose your distance and size then your angle so there's a lot you want to do here just try to experiment on your own so you will learn more all right and then we need to put the the painting alone So all you need to do is bring it down to the frame and then all you need to do is transform then we lose our clipping mass of the stone so all you need to do is do it again all right then select the painting So all you need to do is fit it inside of the stone. So you can do it like that. You you don't need to. So it can be distort. So like that if you want that. But if you want to position it without distorting all you need to do is do the ship and out then you can erase the excess white by using the eraser uh, press E then select the eraser eraser tool alone not the magic eraser then select the top round brush oh okay so if you do it in a smart object you cannot apply eraser so all you need to do is click on your painting layer then change it to rasterize layer so rasterize means it will going to be a pixel base so then you can resize the size of brush by using your uh, which button is this the next one after P is your bracket your bracket keys so you can increase or decrease with bracket keys the size of the brush So don't worry, the wood frame would not be deleted because it's inside or it's in the bottom. Alright. And then for our last step, I think it's on our last step. Then we're gonna put our logo so you can put your own logo so then I'll give you some tweaks on how to remove the white and the black so I do it in a smart object again so resize it let's resize it control T then resize 
So if you want to target just one specific side of the free transform, all you need to do is hold shift, then it will retain on one one side. If you do it in shift out, it will resize from the center. Alright. Then let's hit apply or enter and then it's in our composition. Then if you want to remove the white, what will you do? I think is you're gonna do the magic eraser. But you need to transform it again on a rasterized layer. Like this, you need to rasterize it. Then you need to do it like this, but it will remain some white. There is a better way, so let's undo that. So all you need to do is Control Z for just one step. If you want to go back step more, Control Alt Z. So to make it a smart objects again then we need to all we need to do is go to the blending mode for layer then select multiply so when you hit multiply it will erase actually it's not erase it just hides all the white so you can do it in any logo you want with the white background and you want to just put the the dark color of your logo but here's the vice versa of the multiply you and if you want to remove all the black all you need to do is the screen all the blacks will be thrown away but for this what we need is the multiply so all you need to do is if you're okay with your Composition then all you need to do is hit file then save Then put your name so my first homes Then hit apply it will save on PSD format oh, PSD format cannot be uploaded to the internet so all you need to do is go to file again then save as then choose jpeg jpeg not jpeg 2000 or jpeg story stereo so all you need to do is jpeg so you can have a flat image then hit save then always choose the maximum quality And then you're done we're done so congratulations you can review the video repeat and play again by the way I will upload all the images we use in this tutorial so you can do it the way it was so thank you again please like subscribe comment and share bye bye